Hello everyone, my name is Lewis and welcome back to Gathering the Magic and quite an exciting video here today. We have, as you can see right here, a £100 mystery box that we got off one of our followers on Instagram. I'll just open this now, the magic of quick editing. And yes, I'll put his Insta on screen now, so shout out to Jacob for selling us this. What we have here is a £100 or $100 mystery box which he says is worth the value so it'll be interesting to see um, while I open this why not give this video a nice little like and if you're a fan of Magic the Gathering as I assume you're still watching uh, why not hit that subscribe button help out the channel and help us get to the next goal which is I don't know what 200 250 subs this is quite a thick quite a thick thing so I'll go along um, yeah and so here we have Sutra Priest Veteran war leader from Battle for Zendikar. Again, I'll put oh, another Battle for Zendikar. <laughs> okay, we've got a Battle for Zendikar bundle, it appears. Um, so, yeah, I'll slowly sort of put in the top left corner maybe the ongoing values. Hopefully, we hit that. If there's anything that I do notice that is suddenly worth quite a bit, another Battle for Zendikar. Is, and another, okay, I'm guessing these are all quite well ordered. Um, yeah, if something is of high value that I do recognise, I will let you know. I probably will miss things out though, as if there are older sets, then, you know, I won't notice. And also, if you are a Magic the Gathering fan and you're going to buy cards to complete those sets and make those Commander decks, I do recommend Card Market, and if you are registering, why not use our code, which I will put on screen now. Okay, eliminate the competition. We're on to, I think, Kaladesh this is. So again, rares from a few years. Not, ooh, Mindstone. That's quite an old one. I'm not sure what set that is. I don't recognize the, the little thing there, but I think that card is worth a couple of quid. Pretty cool. And we have Rags to Riches. Rags to Riches. Again, I think most of these cards so far are probably, ooh, okay. I know old, old lands aren't worth that much but i think that's from about the fourth or fifth set 1995 mm, could be worth could be worth a few pennies who knows and dark ritual that is that is from ice age got a nice little frosty symbol there add three to your mana pool again so hopefully this this will command tower come on let, let me speak stop interrupting me cards um, yeah, hopefully this little collection will be a lot better than the previous uh, Mystery Booster 25 that I got from eBay, which was very tragic. And another 1995, I'm going to say 4th, 5th edition Island. Not going to be worth a lot, but they're really cool. They're really, really old. And that'll be worth about a penny. <laughs> okay, and oh, here we go. Another one. Another one. 1995 Mark Paul. It's even got his little signature on there that is very nice very nice pull there okay now we've got a deep sea kraken that is cracking stuff and next changeling outcast i don't know if you'll be able to see but on the back you can see a lot of uh, booster packs there if you feel like you know what that's going to be for then please do leave a comment have a nice little guess and that dimir signet mm, okay that's GK1, I don't know what set that is, that's not a standard set, so that could be, that could be worth a few quid, that could be the best card so far. Talvarand Skies Summoner, again, I think all of these cards, I'm guessing, to, to maybe make the video better, I don't know, I'm guessing that these cards might be in value order maybe, or close to, so hopefully as we go on, there's going to be some really nice spicy pulls, again, C19 block now, very sort of common Commander 19 cards, pristine Skywise, another double one there, Refuse, Cooperate, all of these probably worth like 30 to 50p, River Kelpie, wicked card, again not worth too much, pristine Angel, okay, I like this, it's all very, very well ordered at all, who doesn't love a little board white, so again yeah, shout out to Jacob for uh, giving us this, sending this our way, hundred dollars. I mean, I can. I'm guessing it's it's going to be around that amount, but we shall see. Increasing devotion, nice card. Jace's Sanctum, Heart Piercer, Manticore. 
Not going to be worth that much. Oh, what's this? Bristling Hydra. Foil from Kaladesh Primer. I don't know if that, that could be worth that could be worth a nice little bit. Okay, and what have we got next? Telenali's Skin Shifter. If you haven't already, do check out the video we did a few days ago. It was the Core Collector's Box, and there were some really, really cool pulls in there. And, oh, whoa, what is this? Is this a, is this a land? Oh, Legendary Land. I like that. And where's that from? Ixalan. Very nice. Hopefully that's worth a few quid. <laughs> keep, I'm going to keep saying that. I hope this is worth money. I, I don't, obviously, I don't know what the cards are, so I don't know what the price is going to be. And to finish off the first half, we've got a vehicle. There we go. First half. Oh, these feel a bit fat. There's a few sleeves in here. Captain Storm, Green Caller, Siren. I said I'll put the, uh, I'll sort of keep the value up the top here, but I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with it, but I will sure try. Obscuring Aether, and ooh, an exotic orchard. Now, I do say ooh a lot in my videos, but <laughs> My friends, whenever we whenever we play an exotic orchard, you also go, ooh. Silver Claw Griffin. Uh, what is this? From C20. I'll put on a picture here, somewhere here, um, if I figure out what this card is. I don't know if that's worth a lot because it's in Japanese or not. Mass Diminish, more C19 cards. Backdraft Hellkite, Pia Nalar. Ooh, another Pia Nalar. I don't know. They're legendary, legendary creature, rare. That could be worth, could be worth a quid or two. And Neheb Dreadhorde Champion. Zada. We're getting onto legendary, a lot of legendary creatures here. Crow Sun Verge. I don't think that's going to be worth a lot. Okay, Wakestone Gargoyle. Uh, if you do like this sort of video, uh, run random mystery boxes, let me know. If you know any others going around that I should try out, then. And do let me know. I was thinking of maybe buying some random stuff. Oh, foil at Tandem Lookout. Uh, thinking of buying some random stuff on Wish. <laughs> I don't know how badly that would go. Uh, Secret Salvage. I've not seen anything yet that I know is worth a lot. But again, I'm hoping that'll come towards the end. Okay, just move my hand. My arm is aching. Okay, Flicker Wisp. White Sun Zenith. Strand's Expertise. Hangul Wombinder. <laughs> That is, uh, I, I like this card, uh, it's just a funny name, the art just says exactly what it is. Pretty stupid, but I like it. Okay. Epiphany at the Drown Yard. Okay, yeah, let me know if anyone, oh, Notion Fee. I think that is worth a few quid. I feel I was looking at that for, for a blue-black deck. I think that is worth two or three quid, maybe. I don't know. Oh, another Notion. Thief, Chief, another Notion Thief. Okay, could be getting in some decent money now. Possibility Storm. Okay, these are all from, what set is this? Uh, it'll probably come to me after the video. Uh, but again, I think we're starting to get in some value here. And Endbringer, so that's a foil and a promo. Ooh I hope that is worth a couple of quid. Now this is a cool card. I love me some Rivals of Ixalan and I love me some dinosaurs. That is, ooh, get onto loads of legendary creatures. I really hope these are worth, these are worth a pretty penny. And a Lux Cannon, this is an expensive card. I know this is probably like five, six quid. That is decent, good artifact, and you don't have to sacrifice it to use the, uh, you know, use the charge counters. That is a nice, Card. Are we coming on to some value? Another legendary artifact. Very nice. Like I said, if you are still watching, obviously fan of magic, why not just support all Corona? Or oh, Corona is a false god. Um, yeah, why not support the channel? Give it a little like. And uh, oh, it's a Talpa. This isn't worth a lot, I know, but wicked card. Who wouldn't want a flying double strike vigilant trample indestructible in their deck? That is nice. And Pramicon, the Marmite card, you either love it or you hate it. Really sort of fixes what way a game's gonna go. Didn't used to like it, but now I'm a fan. Thespians stage, seen that a few times on game nights. Again, I think that is worth a couple of quid. So the value is, whoa, 
Whoa, whoa, we were. What is that? I mean, I know it's a journey, but I don't know what a journey is. That is that is pretty damn cool. Edric Spymaster of Trust. Another. Okay, is, is there going to be loads of Japanese cards? Uh, who's the artist? Chris Ryan. Okay, I'll have to find out who that is. I'll put it up on the screen now. And oh, from Unstable Sword of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> such a such a cool name. Little tie into D20 to D D20. So I was reading the card to D and D. Nice little card. Not as good as the other swords, obviously. Very very specific for rogues and clerics. Star Goblin Spymaster. I'll try and flicker through these now and get the video rolling. Commander Sphere, another cool card, I think that's worth a quid or two. Word of Invention, Foundry Inspector, Artifact Spells, cost one less, that is nice. Unclaimed Territory, it's more exam. Ooh, Prowling Serpapod. Fun fact, about six months ago, I went into my local game store and they had a load of bulk uh, rares, for like 50p each, I bought a fair few of these. I think now it's got a shopping price. I think it's worth about three or four quid. So that's pretty damn cool. Combat Celebrant. Dowsing Dagger. Another flippy artifact. That is a three mana. That is wicked. Are we now rolling in money? I certainly hope so. <gasps> oh! I don't know why in my head this is worth a fair bit of money. I could be wrong. Three mana of any one colour. Who doesn't love a lotus? That is nice. Serum Visions, Solemn Cinema, you know what I meant to say, I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> Figure of Destiny, Scrap Trawler, Aether Works Marvel again, ooh, Canyon Slab. Again, I'm thinking now all of these are probably worth a quid or two. Swords to Plowshares, cool card, but I wouldn't like to be uh, exiling a 20 power creature and then giving your opponent 20 life. River of Tears, very cool land. Serum Powder, that is pretty, pretty cool for the old mully. Harnessed Lighting in a, let's do that. Oh no, we, we, as much as I love Pokemon, we don't do that here, do we? Uh, that's cool, Harnessed Lighting. Energy Counters, Champion of Wits. Winding down now, Fiery Gambit, really cool coin flip card, I'd love to build it. Card that, uh, a deck that revolves around card flipping look. That'd be pretty cool. General's Kabuto. No, I said I'm not doing Pokemon here. General's Kabuto, pretty cool. Spelljack, that looks pretty, pretty old. I'm not sure what that, uh, what that one is. Phyrexian Revoker. Again, all these cards worth a little bit. Cool land here from M15. Cathedral of War. Yeah, let me know. Oh, Conflux, is that worth a bit? I think it is. Search for a white card, a blue card, a black card, a red card, and a green card. That can do bits for you. Yeah, let me know what your favourite card has been so far. And we've got a foil of Dovin Grand Arbiter. Again, winging it slightly because I don't know how much these cards are worth. So, again, I could be massively underplaying them here. Kaladesh, Foil, Filigree, Familiar. Oh, okay. I know this is worth a fair bit. So, that's pretty damn cool. Probably the newest card out of everything. Ikoria, shout out to your boy. But nice, okay. That's, I mean, it was 10, 15 quid when it first came out, but I think it's about five or so now. And to finish this off, Oh, I was hoping it's going to be something really, really big, but another Commander 20 card, not going to be worth that much, unless for some reason it's worth a lot in Japanese. But, well, there you go. There you have it. That is the video. Nice little random rambling full of cards there. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like, and why not subscribe for more magic goodness? And yeah, for now, I'm all tapped out, so I'll see you in the next video.